So guys, just quickly before this video starts, I just want to kind of just tell you guys a little bit about the situation. Everything that you are about to see happened about a year or so ago now. I weren't allowed to publish the videos because of legal reasons like with the police whilst they were doing their investigation. I had to give the police all the footage that you guys are about to see. Now pretty much my biggest hater is back. About two years ago now my biggest hater hurt me really bad and he did end up going to prison. Well I later then found out he got released and he's now been haunting my life ever since he has been released from prison. Now, I'm just quickly here just to kind of give you a run through of how this video goes and why I'm in a certain location, just so you guys aren't confused. So pretty much, I was sat at home one day during the week and I was receiving these text messages from an unknown number. These text messages were very threatening and very aggressive towards me and it was clear that they didn't like me. I'm gonna put the screenshots up on the screen of these messages. I was scared, I was showing my girlfriend, I was showing her mum, I was showing her brother. My biggest hater somehow got my number and started sending me threatening messages. Now, my biggest hater actually told me a location to meet him and now, if at the time I knew that was going to be the biggest mistake of my life, I wouldn't have gone to meet him. Well, I almost lost my life. Right guys, so I'm literally five minutes away from the location that this guy that beat Byron up told me to meet him at. Now, I don't know whether I'm stupid for going to this location to meet this guy that has beaten up my mate, my brother-in-law, you know. By the sounds of it, this is all linked with the hater that, you know, didn't quite like me about two years ago and yeah, well, things got a bit messy there. Uh, the video is on my channel, so if you want to go and watch that, watch that after this video. But pretty much after that video, I got the hater locked up, and yeah, he's been in prison ever since. I don't know whether he's been released. I genuinely don't know whether he's been released, but by the sounds of things, he has been released from prison, and he has done some serious damage to Byron. Now, Byron is all okay now. Well, not all okay, but... He's doing better than he was. Yeah, he went hospital, he got checked over, and he was just a bit concussed. Um, so he's taken some time off work um, just, just for him to recover. There is a festival, by the sounds of it, happening. I'm not too sure where, but it sounds like there is a festival happening around this location. So it, it makes me feel a little bit safer to be honest, because is this guy gonna really try something stupid with loads of people around? You know, probably not. I am a little bit scared because I don't know who this guy is. You know, Byron says they're coming after me. I'm here to go and meet this man on my own, pretty much. Oh, hang on, guys. Hang on. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Did you see that? That was a white car. I don't know what. Uh, is that yeah that's ford i think that's ford is that ford yeah yeah that's ford right i'm scared now i i am really scared okay so a white ford focus that looks like a white ford and in my last video byron said that some guy in a white ford was the one that pulled up and beat him up now you know in my last video when i was telling you guys that some weird stuff has happened to me and people have been following me around and there's been cars outside my house well that color car and that same make as that car has been following me around and has been outside my house i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i, I guess i could like maybe walk up and just it could it, think about this it's a ford fords are so popular there's so many people that have fords so it could be could be anyone right i'm gonna go and just i'm going right up to the window you know like i'm working a drive through but i'm just gonna have a look but you know everyone has a ford focus but yeah yeah he's got a mask on yeah he's got a mask on i thought if i acted like i was going for a wee and it wouldn't look too sus but yeah because he had his head down and 
Now he is driving towards me. And he's got the number plate blimmin' taped out as well, so that that should have rang alarm bells. Yep, he's, he's following me. He's following me. He's following me. And what? And what? What's he got in? What's he waving about? And what? Leave me, leave me alone, man. What's he waving in the car? Leave me alone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Leave me alone. I've done nothing to you, man. I beg. Please. Please. Pussy. And what? You're just gonna sit there. Pussy. What a pussy. What? Don't honk at me, mate. Sat in a car, you pussy. Come out and find me like a man. Oh my god, he's got I don't know why I'm getting big to him. He's got a gun. This is stupid. This is actually stupid. This is actually stupid. Leave me alone. Oi, I beg, leave me alone. Leave me alone, man. What have I done to you? What have I done to you? Stop! Go on, what? And what? You're gonna speak to me. Just speak to me, man. Just leave me alone, please. Put it down. Pussy. Guys, I've been shot. I've been shot. Oh. 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 Guys, I've been shot. But guys, I'm gonna have to turn off the camera. Oh. 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 The police are on the way. Oh my god. That's, someone's called the police. Oh. Someone's called the police. Oh. 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 My shoulder kills, my shoulder kills. Right guys, so I'm just adding this little segment at the end of the video just because I've just been editing the video and it brought back so many emotions, made me a little bit emotional, really, because it makes me so grateful to still be here. Because that day I got shot, I genuinely could have lost my life. I got rushed to hospital and I finally came round because I passed out in the back of the ambulance. One of the medics said I was this close from losing my life and I just bursted out into tears when I got told that. It just made me appreciate life so much more. It was my own fault that, that it happened to me because I was stupid enough to go to this location in the middle of nowhere to meet up with a man that was sending me threatening messages and also that beat up my best friend. So yes guys, I thought I'd just add this little end segment, you know, because I, I could quite imagine what happened in this video shocks you. Um, you know, it, it definitely shocked me. I mean, especially me being the one that actually got shot. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so grateful to still be here and be alive, you know. For the past year, I've not been taking life for granted because from what the medic told me about me being so close to losing my life, it really opened up my eyes that I was really, really lucky that day, you know? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock, but yeah. Thank you guys for all the support and all the kind messages.